Hey guys, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add more games to your PlayStation Classic. This is just going to be a basic tutorial showing you how to get everything set up. And remember, if you're having any issues getting this to work, you can go to the PlayStation Classic subreddit or preferably the AutoBleam Discord. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have an appropriate USB flash drive to use with this mod. You want to make sure it is not USB 3.0. You can also use a USB card reader as long as that reader is 2.0. An easy way to tell is to look at the male end of the reader and if it is blue it is usually 3.0. I like the SanDisk series. I haven't had any problems with them and once again I'll have a link in my description below to the model I recommend. At the time of this recording the most recent version of AutoBleam is 1.0.1. .1. Once again Links in the description below. You want to insert your flash drive into your PC. Make sure it is formatted to FAT32. And you can do that right here by clicking Format. Make sure FAT32 is selected. Quick Format is selected. Then hit Start. Next, you want to rename that flash drive to Sony. Go to Rename. Type in Sony in all caps. Next, go into your AutoBleam folder. Simply highlight the files in that folder. Drag them directly onto that drive. So your Sony drive should look like this. For adding PlayStation 1 games, it's as simple as adding the bin and queue files into the games folder. It is highly recommended you find your files in bin and queue format. Just take those files, drag them directly into the games folder. Once you've added your games, you can now safely remove the flash drive from your PC, plug it into the second controller port on the PlayStation Classic, and start it up. If everything was put on the flash drive correctly, your power indicator light should flash amber and green. And you'll see when the system starts up, it'll have the auto bleam screen on. You should get the notification at the bottom that your games have changed. Push X to scan. It'll go through however many games that you added and it'll put them on the list. Push start. And you'll see all the games that you added to your system. AutoBleam will automatically pull the cover art for you. If we go back to the main screen and hit select, you'll see that we have some options as to change your theme, the option to remove the internal games from your carousel, cover styles, playing background music, and other options. A handy option is anytime you're on the AutoBleam menu and you want to automatically turn your system off, you just push the L2 and R2 buttons. If you're looking to add new themes for your PlayStation Classic, it's as simple as finding them online and putting them into the themes folder. I'll include a little starter pack from our very own Red Silvers in my description below. He's done a really good job with these themes, and I'm sure you'll find something that you like. If you like to add games that are not PlayStation 1, they will go into the ROMs folder. And when we open up this folder, you see there are many, many options here. Basically, all you have to do is take the ROM files, drag them directly into the corresponding folder for that system. We'll take this NES game, drag it into the NES folder. For systems that require a BIOS file, you're covered with the PlayStation, but say you want to play TurboGrafx CD games, Famicom Disk System, or anything else that runs with a BIOS file, like these here, you go to your System folder, BIOS folder, and you drag them directly into this folder. Back on the PlayStation Classic to play these games, you want to hit the square button to go into the RetroArch menu. Go down to Load Content, Start directory, and then scroll to whichever folder you put your ROMs in. Select your game, go to load archive, and then you're going to have to select which NES core or whichever core for the system to use. We're going to go with FCEUMM. And the game started up fine. To go back to the RetroArch menu when in game, you can hit the start and select buttons. Let's take a look at our Sega CD game to make sure the BIOS files were added correctly. And there we go, the Sega CD BIOS screen. And there's Sonic. If you want to have your added ROMs listed on the AutoBleam main menu, you have to create a playlist like you see here. To do that, go to Import Content, Scan Directory, and then scan the folder where you have your ROMs. If we go back to the main AutoBleam menu, then we hit select, you'll see that that game has been added to our main menu. 
And that's all there is to it. I want to give a shout out to Red Silvers for making those awesome themes, KMFD Manic for lending his core expertise to Autobleam, and Magnus RC who continues to make content on the PlayStation Classic and other apps involving these ROMs. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.